Okay, everybody, it's Susan from Alabama again. Um, I made a trip to a second Hobby Lobby and picked up some merchandise that was on clearance um, sale that I didn't find at the other one. Um, one in particular that I was looking for, and then I just kind of went crazy and bought these other ones. And I just thought I'd give you a quick look-see, and you might, if it's something you're looking for, you might head out to your store and see if you can find it. Some of these items are 75% off. Some of them are a little bit more. This I hadn't seen before, and I really do like that. I can't wait to cut that out. And there's another Momenta. And then Spellbinders. Trying this out on my iPhone tonight. See if I can maneuver this around. Don't want this to be too long. Because uh, I feel like I've taken up a lot of time, people's time here lately. But I still found some good deals. And this one's kind of hard to see. And I'm kind of... But it is pretty. Let's see what else I got here. That one's still hard to see too. But this is just a tree with some leaves and some flowers. So I thought that would come in handy. It was... Right down from twenty one ninety nine to five fifty, um, and I know the store stock varies depending on what customers buy what, but I just thought I'd give it a try yesterday, and I went down there, and I had really been thinking about whether I should get that Gemini machine. I heard that there was only one per store. Uh, I looked at the one at the other store last week. I decided I really didn't need it and then gave it more thought and decided that would probably be a good deal just to have one electric one on hand. So when I was at this store, I asked, oh, there was an empty box sitting there with no sale price on it. And I asked the girl and she goes, oh, what the price was. And she said, I think 119 or something like that. And I go, I thought it was on clearance sale. Uh, for like 45 and she said oh that's right it was so i recommend to anybody that's shopping for this merchandise that if you've seen it on youtube or anything you might have the employee double check the prices before you check out um because i certainly wasn't in the mood or in the position to spend 119 dollars for another machine when i have like several i'm not even going to mention my sins there okay this was the one i went looking for and needless to say it was the last one that i found on the shelf uh so without the gemini machine which i paid 46.99 i think is what they priced mine at which you know is a little bit more than the other one like a dollar 99 but i wasn't going to argue with them but um so I got $237.87 at the their regular retail price for $58.75. Which, you know, this comes my um uh, Halloween Sizzix Spellbinders Desire and Momenta Dies has come to an end for a while. Got to get busy and use some of these, which I've been working at and rearranging them. And one of these days, I'll show you all a video of how I store mine. I've got a pretty good system going on. It's just a copycat of somebody else, but it's working okay for me. All right. Thanks to everybody who tuned in. Thanks to everybody who watched my part one. Um, I got over a thousand views on that so far, and that just tickles me to death as someone who's never had that many. Um if you'd like to, please subscribe and hit the little alarm button so you'd know when I post a new video. Uh, I don't do it all that often, and I'm hopefully going to do up some different things maybe when I get to learning some of these techniques and stuff and can share. I have some Christmas cards I want to share with you. I know, I know, Christmas is in the past, but it's coming up again, and I've just been working on mine. And as you can see, I've still got new merchandise to play with, so I'll uh, maybe share that with you too. Y'all have a good day. Love your loved ones. Let them know how much they mean to you. And have a glass of sweet iced tea on me. Bye, y'all.